Hi everybody, welcome back to Dave's MI Outdoors. Today I'm making venison redneck meatballs for dinner. And what I got here is uh, two pounds of venison burger made into meatballs. I didn't use any eggs as a bonding agent. I just salt peppered and I put some um, smoked paprika on there and I'm gonna cook them in the oven at 400 degrees for about probably about 15 minutes or till done. So I'm gonna put them in now and I'm going to start making my roux for the, the gravy I'm making. I've got, got some olive oil in the pan and I'm going to start uh, making my roux with putting some, putting some flour in here and getting it mixed up. You want to cook your flour down a little bit because we're making a gravy. So we need to make a roux. reason you want to cook your flour down you want to you want to cook some of the kind of the chalky flavor out of it kind of get the the edge off the flour is what you're doing you need a little bit more and plus it's a it's a thickening agent here Not going to be cooking it down too long. I just want to cook it a little bit. Just to get the slight edge off of it. Turn it up a little bit, let it cook for a few more seconds here. This is just a, one of the, another many ways to use your uh, venison that you harvest during hunting season. And this is an exclusive first time for me. It was something that my wife suggested that I make. She wanted some kind of meatballs and this is what we came up with. So we're trying it for the first time and you're going to find out if it turns out good or not. So that's good right there. So what I'm going to be using for my um, for my juice is I got two and a half cups of beef broth and one cup of heavy whipping cream in here. So that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to mix it all in now. We're going to whisk it up. Might as well bring the heat up because that was all cold. And we're going to let this cook down a little bit till it starts thickening up, and then when the Meatballs are done. I'm going to stick the meatballs in there and let it all soak and simmer together So I'm going to salt and pepper and I'm going to put a little bit of rosemary in there to taste so I'm going to start doing a little bit of that now and let it cook down some And plus you got to remember the meatballs have Smoked paprika and more salt and pepper on there, so it's going to add more flavor I'm going to add a little bit of rosemary. I'm going to crush it up. And we'll stir it until it starts to thicken up a little bit. Okay, I've been letting it cook down a little bit. As you see, it's starting to starting to boil a little or simmer a little bit. 
And just so you guys know, I didn't want this to turn out very thick, so I didn't use a lot of flour. Probably used about three tablespoons when I was making my roux there, because I'm going to be mixing this with noodles in the end. I'm going to be making some rotini noodles to mix it all together. And I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of my, my seasonings now. I'm going to add a little bit of my black magic. There's about two tablespoons of that. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to give it a little taste test. And I might add some more salt and pepper, depending on what it tastes like. And then I'm going to let it set here and simmer on the stove until the meatballs are done. And when they're done, I'm going to put the meatballs in here. I'm going to let them simmer for probably about 20 to 30 minutes because I want the taste to be really good. And then I'm going to cook up my noodles and mix it all together. And we're going to go from there. So let's give a little taste test here. bad. I'm going to add a little bit more salt and pepper. Turn that heat down a little bit. This is about the consistency consistency of a nice cream sauce because we want it to be runny enough so when we mix it with the noodles it's it's plenty to go through the whole box I'm gonna leave that just like that I think that's pretty good so we're gonna we're gonna take a break here for a little bit and we're gonna I'm gonna put a lid on this and let it simmer at a low heat and when the meatballs are ready I'm gonna mix them in there and we'll be back Okay, everybody, the meatballs are ready to go in the sauce. They cooked for about 15 minutes. I chopped one in half, and they are they are just done enough and ready to go in. So I'm going to start spooning them in right now. And I'm going to let them sit there and simmer up, for, like I said, for about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, depending on how I feel about it. And um, just so they get all acquainted with each other and seasoned together and... It's going to be a little process here considering I got two pounds of meatballs here. And we'll see what that uh, smoked paprika does for the for the cream sauce and then we're going to cook up some noodles and mix it all together and plate it up and we're going to do a little uh, taste test for you and see what we think and um, if it's good I hope you guys try it out because I think it's going to be pretty good. The sauce tastes Tastes pretty, pretty darn good already. I think it's going to taste even better here in a little bit after it seasons up. Almost could have made meat, more meatballs in this pan. All right. So we're going to stir them around a little bit. Get them all nice and coated. definitely something different when you've uh, you run out of ideas you try something different and sometimes it becomes a new family favorite so we'll see what, how it works out in the family today all right all right so I'm gonna put my lid on there and we'll let them simmer down and we're gonna cook up some noodles I won't bore you with cooking up the noodles because I'm pretty sure everybody can boil water and cook noodles and if you don't, just throw some water in the pan and heat it up and throw the noodles in there and cook them for 11 minutes and you should be good to go. So be back shortly. Okay, everybody, we got it all plated up. I did a couple things a little bit different because it was my first time making it. I added about a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika to the gravy when I put all the meatballs in there. Um, it seemed to spark it up a little bit more, it's a little bit more spicy, a little bit more smoky taste. And I chopped all the meatballs in half because, as everybody knows, venison is very lean, so I wanted it to be able to soak into the meat better, so I did that. And um, as you see, I got it all plated up. I got a healthy amount of gravy on there, probably a lot below the noodles. Um, I'm going to do a little taste test for you guys right now. I think it's going to be pretty good.
I'd say that's pretty good for a first time recipe. Um, as you guys see, I put a little bit of Mexican style cheese on there. I got a couple pieces of butter bread and my, my favorite drinking glass, my old Atlas mason jar. And um, if you guys like and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And uh, give this recipe a try. Have a good night.